Hello, so this will be the first in the Confessions series and let's say a driver who contributes to this channel sent in his confession and I quite like this one. Back in the day when he was 22, now this guy's the same vintage as me, so it's quite a while ago, he was an insurance collection agent and it was quite common then, you know, the agents would come round, knock on your door every day, every Friday or once a month and collect your premium, stamp a, li a little book and you'd go on your way. This particular driver wasn't very diligent and he turned up whenever he felt like he should turn up instead of turn up when he was supposed to turn up. And eventually the customer got peed off with it and said they were going to send a letter of complaint to the manager and he'd already been dressed down the last week or so uh, for not doing things quite maybe as he should have done. So on this particular occasion he turns up and the customer is completely fed up with him turning up at all irregular hours and says that's it. I've sent the books back and I've sent a letter of complaint to your manager. And uh, our driver friend says, uh, oh, well, that's maybe not the best thing to do because these books, you know, have value to them and all your details in them. It would have been better if you had surrendered it to me. And the lady said, no, no, I wrote a return to sender address on the back. So if it goes missing, it comes back to me. So off he toodles off and he's 22 years old and he's concerned about getting into trouble on Monday morning. So Monday morning, he's up bright and early gets into the office, intercepts the mail, a big, big sack of mail, and he roots through it. Now he now knows what envelope he's looking for because it has this lady's address on the back. So he gets the envelope, opens the mail, takes out the premium books, destroys the letter, and hands the premium books into the manager. <laughs> what a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> but his closing comment was hilarious. If only he'd done the job properly, <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. And it's exactly the same in Curioland. Just do it 